family time today. We are, we are all about family. We are all about marriage. We are all about your goodness, the peace in your household. Today we got a great topic. We got a great topic, but first of all, I want to introduce my co-host, my wife, my partner, my lover, and it just feels good to be around me all the time. That's right. That's right. It feels good. It, it really does. It must, it must be great. Yeah, it really we does. Walk together, good. sleep together, mm -hmm. eat together. Uh-huh. Well. Everything together. Uh, yeah. And I welcome mm -hmm. you viewers. Uh, my name is May Victor to Family Time today. And I will ask you to relax because we're going to have a very wonderful time you know, with you this uh, uh, this moment. So just let your family, everybody come around, tell your friends that family time today is on air. I didn't know about wonderful, being wonderful, because the topic we have today is one that is gonna rub some people the wrong way, but it's gotta be talked about. But you know the topics, what the, the reason why I say wonderful is okay. because every, every show that we bring it's like administration. People people stop me in the store. People call us. And by the way, please keep those calls keep it coming, coming. Keep it coming. And keep the, the emails coming. The most wonderful day we have is the day we hear from you. It is really awesome. Because it gives us the you know the impression, the knowledge that hey, somebody is listening. We're not just talking to ourselves, you know. So what I'm saying, how, how, how wonderful it is, is when we talk on any show, even though it's just, what, 30 minutes, but it's a knowledge. Whoever is watching us is gaining some knowledge, yes. which they will use to put into their lifestyle, and we're hoping that it will better their lifestyle. Now, if you're a grandma, you might say, well, all these young people, I'm just not... But it would help you with your grandkids. If you're a mother, of course, whatever we're saying, it's going to help you. If you're a father, it's going to help you. So that's why I say it's wonderful because knowledge is something that you want to keep coming as long as you live. Even though it may not be so rosy, but at least you gave the knowledge. Yeah, and I, and I hear what mm -hmm. you are saying. You hear what you're saying. What I mean is sometimes you go to church it just looks like the pastor is talking about you. Right. Everybody feels ministered to. You feel like the pastor is spilling your beans. Yeah. But the pastor didn't know about you. He's not talking about you. He's just preaching. So we're going to preach right. today. We're going to talk about a topic that some people are victims of. Mm. A whole lot of people are predators they prey on it in other words mm. they are the people who perpetrate it that's why i said that it's gonna run some people rob some people some up in a bad spot and mm. some people will say go ahead say it mm. but whatever you do we're gonna have four episodes of this don't just watch one i encourage you to watch all of it because right. we're gonna talk about community we're gonna talk about church we're gonna talk about the general thing all and all, all aspects of it, of it. Yes. Uh, and, and you need to take it from episode one to episode four mm. for you to get the whole gist the of whole it picture, yes. uh, but this is something that is timely we've really been avoiding getting into this mm. but finally the time is it's, right it, it has got to be addressed it's got to be addressed yes, and that's yeah. why we today we left the cocoon of our home studio we are in the studio today to make sure that the sound effect, the lightning effect, and everything comes together so that we do this ministration. That's so funny. Did you tell us your name? Eventually? Oh, my name is Honey. You said <laughs> my name. That's my oh, first yeah. name. Uh, well, my name is Vic Victor. Yeah. Uh, that's Honey my Vic. name. I am the wife, the husband of one wife. Yeah. We were in South Africa a few weeks ago, and the man of God said that his wife is not the first lady. And I said, what do you mean? He said, well, if I have a first lady, it means there are second and third and maybe fourth. 
my wife, he said his wife is the only, only lady. lady. And I love it. So I, I learned that. It. I learned, I learned that. that. So I now introduce so my wife husband. as the only lady. Yeah. The only lady of the house. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about family violence. Family violence. Some call it family violence. Some call it spousal abuse. Some call it wife battering. The local parlance is wife beating. So, however you, whatever you call it, domestic violence, domestic mm. violence, uh, whatever you call it, it's the same thing. Mm. And and to get it right, I think I have a definition that I I copied here so that we get it right. What is it? It is a pattern of abusive behavior in a relationship that is used by one partner mm. to gain and maintain control and control another partner. The critical thing is control. Yeah. When you exert control ordinarily and you're not getting it and you use your power, you use threat, you use your muscle, you use weapon, you use uh, all kinds of things. That's mm. family violence. But you know, honey, the, the strange thing about the whole thing, about the control issue is this, for mm. me. For me, it, it's strange because a man is an authority figure. Mm. A man doesn't need to flaunt their muscles before you know. I mean, like, if a man understands that he's a man, if nobody told you that you're a man, if you're not abrogating your rights as mm -hmm. a man, mm -hmm. when I see my husband, I see authority. I see kingship. I see greatness. I mean, he doesn't have to say a, word, say a word. And the children, for most homes, everyone, if you're watching us, you know that when daddy is around, daddy might be in the bedroom. The air is different. The air is totally different. Oh, yeah. He has not said a word. He's sleeping. So he's even <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> he might even be sleeping. Daddy might even be sleeping. But... So, so when these abuse issues come along and it's all about control, I begin to wonder that is it the fact that the, these guys or these men are not understanding who they are, that they need to assert themselves further? Explain to us about this. And, and that, that's a great question. You're saying why does the king need to come out and use his muscle um, yes. when all he needs yes. is his word. Yes. And then yes. That, that's a great way to look at it. But right. obviously, these men don't know who they are. They are. Okay. Secondly, it could be a feat of moment, a moment of weakness, mm -hmm. a moment of anger, a moment when a man thinks that that authority, that control is slipping away. Mm -hmm. And quite frankly, uh, where we came from in Africa, you really don't need to flex your muscle. But here, there are women that challenge their husband right, right in their face. Right. And you know that when it comes to exchanging words, mm. women Men don't do good. We don't do good yes. at that. Yes. So if you challenge your wife on that terrain, mm. you're definitely going to lose. Uh, yeah. uh, you're going to lose. And some men, when they lose on that terrain, and lose some other areas. We're going to talk about those areas that men lose and they lose control. Mm. Because while domestic violence may be about maintaining and gaining control, mm -hmm. it's also about someone who feels like they are losing control. Mm. It's about a man that feels that he is not in control. He needs to do more to gain, to maintain, to control. Mm. So... All those things are things that we're going to be talking about, but that's the fact of it. That domestic violence, spousal abuse, is nothing but someone trying to gain control of the other. Right. And then you, the, according to your definition here, it says it's a pattern. It's a pattern, yeah. So it, it's not just something that somebody just does uh, the once. Feet, once in their lifetime, mm -hmm. in their lifetime, mm -hmm. we're talking about this thing. It keeps rolling. I mean, it, it may happen once a month. It may happen once a week. It may happen once, but it, it is a pattern. 
I mean, the person does not stop. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. It's, and we're going to talk about the cycle of right. deadly zone. We're right. going to talk about the right. cycle, but, the but, cycle but, of domestic but, violence but, down the line. But we're saying people need to watch out mm -hmm. that what we're talking about, we're not talking about situations where someone just falls into something on a no. rare occasion. We're talking about something being a, such a, 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 a pattern of behavior a repetitive uh, behavior in someone's life to where they need help. They need help. And, and, yeah. and that's it. It's not a one-time thing. The first time it happens, we're going to talk about the circle, how it begins, how it increases, how it becomes a lifestyle. We will talk about that down the line. But there are some facts, and honey, I want you to look at it. There are some facts about domestic violence right, that right. we want to share seven and there are many of them yeah we want to share about seven facts what statistics says about domestic violence but that before, we all need before to we share the facts on it mm -hmm. how does uh how does uh, this domestic abuse how does it you know how does it show up how do people what are the outlets you know we have here Physical, physical abuse. abuse. Okay. Someone beats the other. And then we have sexual abuse. We have sexual. They force you to do what you don't want to do when we, you don't want to do it. We have psychological. We yeah. have mental. I mean, sometimes I put my own financial abuse. <laughs> I mean, it's like, yeah, because talk about control. When somebody is holding on to the money of the house and they refuse to let go. Yes. You know, that's, and they know the other person cannot call up any money. Maybe they don't have a job or something. That's an abusive situation, especially if you come from the guy to the woman. So, viewers, please hang in there. Don't turn the dial. We will be right back. Welcome back, viewers, to Family Time Today. We were talking about domestic abuse, family violence, wife battering or spousal battering. If I want to be politically correct, because we know some women that also batter their husband. That happens. 15% of women batter their husband. So it's not just one sided. But there's something you talked about that I want to elaborate or highlight, and that's the financial abuse. We're going to see down the line that in all the cases of domestic abuse and, and uh, family violence in our community, money is the key. Money is the trade that runs through it. The who makes the money, who controls the money, who prioritizes the money, who manages the money. We will talk about when we come there. But as we said before, it manifests in physical abuse, yeah. sexual abuse, like emotional to, to abuse. To talk about that sexual abuse. Uh, the sexual one is the mm. one that is a little bit slippery to talk about, but it's there. Now, if your spouse makes you do what you don't want to do, mm. and you do what your spouse wants you to do out of fear, mm. and not out of worse. love, mm. that's an abuse. We hear a lot of people call us and say, my husband wants me to do oral. I'm going to be very frank with you. I'm very <laughs> raw, yeah. if you will. Yeah. My husband wants me to do oral sex. I hate it. It's filthy to me. Uh, so if your husband insists that you do what you feel is, is, is filthy, that's, that's an abuse. That's using force to control, to make you do what you don't want to do. And vice versa. There are men who says, oh, my wife is always hot. He's, I walk into the room, she wants to have sex every time. So if that becomes a threat, if you don't have sex with me, I'm not going to cook for you. Or if you don't do it, I'm going to go outside. If somebody begins to threaten the other, make someone oh, they want don't you to do what they don't want to do. Skimpy clothes, or do, know? Or even do acrobatics in the mm. bedroom. Things they see in the porn room. They want to perform it in their bedroom. Yeah. Forgetting that those in the porn, uh, porn movies, those, are, those people are in something yeah. that your wife is not on. Um. not real. Uh -huh. So those are all uh, signs So of what about the psychological abuse? abuse? The psychological is a subtle one. Mm. It's a subtle one. Someone who is manipulative. Yeah. Someone who tells you you're no good. Yeah. 
someone who always put down looks down on you. Yeah. It increases it is, your self-esteem. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's, this is one that a whole lot of women may not even catch. Yeah. It's very subtle, like my husband said. They may not beat you up so you don't have a physical scar mm -hmm. to show for it. You don't have the blue face, the black face, and the red face. You don't have it. But mentally and psychologically, you have a, a scar lot of scars. that is not... Intellectually, you, you have scars. You, you carry this everywhere you go. And your husband does That person who is abusing you in that manner does, doesn't have to be present for you to constantly feel that you're worthless, that you cannot do anything right, that, you know, the day you were born is a very useless day. Yeah, I'm You see? So, so we need to watch out. We're bringing out these different kinds of abuses so we can understand that there are some behaviors in a relationship that should completely be unacceptable. Unacceptable. Nobody and should it starts accept from that. you. Yes. You should draw the line and say, exactly. this is unacceptable right. to me. Right. I can't accept I this. Accept. Yeah. Uh, you don't wait for your spouse to draw the line for you. Mm -hmm. The first time it happens, you draw the line and say, this is the last time you call me stupid. Mm. This is the last time you call me idiot. Mm. Because the next time, I'm going to call you idiot too. Mm -hmm. The next time, I'm going re re to retaliate. Mm. So you draw the line and you insist on those boundaries. That's right. You are fearfully and wonderfully That's made right. by the greatest manufacturer ever. Yes, the yes, God yes. of God, the King of Kings. Mm. There's no reason why anybody should make you feel otherwise. Any less than you Any are. Any less than you are. By the way, mm. if you were that bad, they wouldn't have spent their money <laughs> to, to come and marry you. Mm. They wouldn't have chosen you out of all the people in the world. Mm. They're just jiving. So You're not that bad. In other words, honey, what we're telling the viewers is whatever a spouse does to the other spouse has to be something that will bring out the best in you. out of you. Mm -hmm. Whatever your spouse does should bring out the best out of you and not the worst out of you or make you feel any less. In other words, even if somebody is a village girl, and you know, you are the township man, and you decided to go marry the, this village girl, you know what? You should bring out the best out of this village girl, and now she becomes a township girl, because Mrs. Village has gone to marry Mr. Township. So her name changes to Mrs. Township. Township and vice versa. And vice versa. So when you call her you village girl, you are actually demeaning yourself, thinking that you're demeaning this woman. So everything we do, you know, ought to bring out the best from our spouse. That's one thing that if there's nothing that you hear in this episode is work towards bringing the best out of your spouse instead you of bringing team. the worst mm -hmm. because you are a team you are a team and on, on the other hand if you are a young girl you married supposedly an old man it was your choice to marry that old man mm -hmm. whatever the motivation was at the beginning your parents coerced you you were married him because of money mm -hmm. he was this and that the bottom line is that old man is your husband. That's right. And maybe he married you so that you can bring that youngness in him, mm -hmm. that you can help him to bring out the youth in him. Mm -hmm. Make him feel like a young person so that you all can operate on the same frequency. There is no, he's not an old man. Mm -hmm. He's your husband. So if he is old, guess what? You, you are, are the Mrs. wife. Old. Of the old man, <laughs> of an old man. And my wife says, You're Mrs. You know, old. You are Mrs. Old. He's <laughs> Mr. Old. He's Mr. Old. You are Mrs. Mrs. Old. <laughs> so it doesn't sound right it doesn't, either. No, when you flip right. it, it does not sound no, right. No, 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 you see what I'm saying? So that, that's the thing. And so when we talk about the prevalence 
yes. of domestic violence abuse, you know, in families. We have, we do have facts. And viewers, these facts are really bothering. Yes. And the problem is, we're getting into a more jet age, a jetta age, if you want to talk about it. So it's not going to get better. And that's why we're creating this awareness. You see? So do you want me to bring out? Yeah, I mean, go, go ahead. It bro. says Let's... that domestic violence occurs in one out of every four homes. Yep. Honey, that is alarming. It's 25% of all homes experience domestic violence. Can you imagine our neighborhood mm -hmm. when you count? One, two, three, fourth one. No, don't go to one, our neighborhood. Two, talk no, about, I'm just saying. Talk I'm, about our church. I'm just saying. Talk about our leave. friends. You count four of your friends. One of them is going through domestic violence. So I when you see couples dressed up looking wonderful, looking great in the parties, in the store, or wherever they are, sometimes all is not well. All is not well. And I'm going to share this at this time. A few years ago, someone said, came to us and said, do you know that this your friend is beating up his wife? I said, no, 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 that can't be true. But we all go to church. We are Christians. How come the wife hasn't said anything? I wouldn't believe that. But ultimately, down the line, it surfaced that that was happening. So it's not, I'm saying this to say that it's not as far as you think. Mm. It's among us. So we only hear about those ones that make it to Channel 13 mm. or Fox News at 5 o'clock. That's the ones we hear about. But technically, these things happen on a daily basis around us. Pastors, community leaders, elders, they all, we all perform, partake in it. Mm. Well, another fact says women are more prone, you know, to domestic violence than men. 85% of women are abused domestically. 15% of men mm -hmm. are, are abused domestically. And you know what? The reason is not far-fetched. It's not far-fetched. You know, the, the reason is not far-fetched. Men are usually yeah. stronger. Men are stronger. Women men are the are weaker older. vessel. Mm -hmm. Again, again, I have recently also discovered that women, men's brain, women's brain, women always feel that they're lacking something. Mm -hmm. And that's why they get prone to this abuse. Because it may not just be physical abuse. It may just be, you know, psychological abuse. You see this girl, very tall, light skin, skinny and everything, looking all pretty, gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous to people outside. Mm -hmm. You see, why would... Her husband or a man telling her that she's stupid, matter to her. It shouldn't. That she's worthless. If she really don't. Mm -hmm. or, or that she's worthless. If she really knows who she is, what she carries. But there's always that thing in the women that we feel, uh, even if the, everything is all right, maybe the ear is a little big. Maybe my the face, my is, face a little bit is a little bit fat. <laughs> Maybe uh, and, and that's why good. we keep killing ourselves in the gym, working out, starving ourselves, do all these eating disorders, so we can look like this model that doesn't exist somewhere, you know. So the reason is far, it's not far fetched. Then another one says three women are murdered each, each day or each year, each year by current or former intimate. Partners, mother. It's, in the U.S., it, it, it should be more than just three men, three women <laughs> every year. These are the ones I'm, that are I'm reported. Sure, I'm sure that there are much more, many more women out there who are going through this thing. And then the other one says, four point seven women are victim of domestic violence every year in United in the U.S. You know, and the women are some are seventy times more likely. To be murdered after leaving an abusive partner than any other time in the relationship. That, that gets you. That gets you because you're not just stuck with this person, but even when you get out, you're also a victim. Even when this you is get horrible. out, you this know is the, bad. the the case of uh, O.J. Simpson and Nicole Simpson. Those people have been separated from each other for for years. 
for months at least, and yet at the end of it, that led to the death of Nicole. So um, that's something that we all have. Number six, honey. Now, the one that really gets me really bad, honey, be besides all of this, is the fact that 10 million children are exposed to domestic violence every year. And, and I mean, can you imagine how many, how many millions, how many children are torn apart just because adults don't want to do like adults? And it's not just like being adults. torn apart. It's also how many children that learn to be domestic abusers and victims. Mm every year 10 million because as they watch their parents abused and being abused mm. they also learn that that's the way to do marriage mm. that's the way to live and when they get into their own relationship their own marriage they in turn become victims and victors they perpetrate domestic abuse and the cycle continues to go on and that's why we say that the first university of marriage you ever and well you were enlisted to because you did not enlist on you didn't to. sign up you didn't yeah register. you were enlisted to <laughs> the university of your mom and dad mm -hmm. university of uh, that was in your house what you see mom and dad do so there are many men that are prone to domestic ab uh, abuse because their fathers were in this line of look business. it's a simple you know, thing if you watch your dad beat up your mom all the time you hate it but at the same time you're learning mm. it you think that's the way to control women that's mm. part of being married man. and that's your default mode uh viewers we will be right back as you can see i say we will be robbed in the wrong way when we start the discussion but the idea is to create awareness for this mm. We will be right back. We've been talking about domestic violence in our community. If you or anyone that you know is going through domestic violence, is a victim, or even if you are having problem controlling yourself, mm. call this number on the screen. There is help around. Don't wait until things escalate before you call. Call this number and we'll be able to help you manage the situation. God bless you. Welcome back, viewers. As we're continuing to talk about family violence, unfortunately, our time is coming to an end today. But tune in next time on the second episode. We're going to be talking about how do you know that you're being abused? Because some people are being psychologically, emotionally, sexually abused, and yet they don't know it. Join us next week, and from me, it's been a wonderful evening from my wife. Thank you, viewers, for viewing. Thank you. Good evening.